All right, what's going on guys? We're back to another Project Slayers video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the ultimate hard mode Mugen Train guide. I'm going to show you guys everything you need to do for hard mode Mugen Train, everything, every requirement for hard mode Mugen Train, everything that you need for hard mode Mugen Train, pretty much everything that you need to do, the ultimate guide on how to do Mugen Train. I've seen a lot of people struggling to beat hard mode Mugen Train, and honestly, I have as well. This is a very hard mode, so I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about it in this video. If you guys do find this real helpful, make sure you do like and subscribe trying to hit 30,000 subscribers but yeah with that being said enjoy the video all right first thing in this video that we're going to be talking about we're going to be talking about the requirements we're going to talk about the recommended bdas and breathings the recommended weapons and the recommended clans first we're going to start with the recommended level you do need level 225 for this if you have level 225 you can still do this but it will be 10 times harder in my opinion you should be maxed they increase the health scaling they increase the damage everything is to be good about being level 225 25 is actually pretty easy to get if you do watch my videos on my level guides that's very easy you do need to be level 225 for this if you're not level 225 is if not all five people in your party is in level 225 this is going to be very hard and very challenging for you to complete so i do recommend all five people in the party to be level 225 demons uh you can be a slayer i'm going to say it's like way harder if you're a slayer because they are so like under underpowered in my opinion compared to bdas like ice so i do recommend five people one person does have to pay a bloody stained ingot if you guys don't know this it, it is um these materials right here if i do search up bloody stained ingots you do need to pay one of these to activate hard mode and you can then only one person to do that and it's irreversible so make sure you're doing it with five or four people that you do trust now your method to find five people to do the dungeon pretty much that all max you're gonna want to go to the project slayers discord or you go to my discord or something pretty much you want to ask for people who are max demon level 225 of a good clan and a good bda the good bds that i recommend are going to be ice and swamp those are the two meta bdas for me can train those aren't the only two beaters that you can actually use uh swamp is good ice is good pretty much any other aoe is pretty much good you can use dream honestly dream is not bad reaper is not also not bad a lot of things aren't really that bad if you're a slayer mist and wind are going to be your best options no other option honestly maybe sound if you really want but i don't recommend all, any of those i do only recommend uh sound uh, not sound i do only recommend swamp and ice those are going to be the two best undoubtedly the two best bdas for being trained their uh cc and their AOE we are just too insane and they just do too much damage compared to any other bda especially ice swamp is really good if you have like one swamp user and they could like uh stun the bosses and stun npcs or like sit in the core pretty much but yeah i do recommend i do recommend swamp bda and ice bda for every single person you find all right, I am going to personally go to the Mugen Train Discord server. Pretty much, yeah, if you go to the Project Slayer Discord server, there will be a Mugen Raid chat. In this chat, this is where you will find every single person for your things. Now, I'm going to say, you guys, I'm going to show you guys which ones that I would do. Pretty much for how mode. Like this guy, looking for how mode. No offense, this guy. Ain't no way I'm doing it with this guy. He's a level 190. He's also a Slayer. Um, doesn't even tell us what his breathing is. I know how to clash, but pretty much how mode. You're going to want to do someone like this guy. Hosting how mode you can requirements max level high mastery special plus demon swap or ice second level of mastery 40 m1 fans this guy this guy is looking for a good team that is going to be the um best meta for it i'm looking for someone who's lf mode you can train who are, who's actually max all you guys are all you guys are looking for none of them are actually max um so i I, I wouldn't really do any of these guys things this guy 180 hosting this guy's right here this guy is very good looking for how mode make sure level 200 try player max ice bda this is one guy i would find uh the drop chances really matter that much it's hell mode i think you need like better items than drop chance but you always put drop chains at the end, so that doesn't matter. This guy is also good. 225 ice, 250, or 250 ice, 225. I think my Discord just crashed. But pretty much, yeah, these are the guys that I would find. Pretty much max level, max mastery. My Discord did crash, but yeah. Those are the people that you will want to be finding for Mugen Train. Pretty much Ice, Swamp, Max stats. Maybe if you if you are good at Slayers, then you can do find someone of Slayers. But I just don't rec really recommend it. But that is how you will be able to find people. The clans, I do recommend this, is going to be Kamado Clan on top 100%. Uh, next is like Hashibiro, Soyama, Uzui. Those are also good clans. But I really do just recommend Kamado for the stamina region. Especially if you're using Swamp, you do need that stamina region. So those are going to be the best clans 100%. And I also do recommend using war fans. The tor tor tornado is still so good. And the war drums. They increase your damage. And the AoE is also just um, really good. So I do recommend max devour war fans if possible. Uh, they don't need to be a tier 3 or anything. I did it with tier 1. And you pretty much just need war fans at... Um, 
at high mastery. That's pretty much what you do need. You can use Scythe, but it's just not very good against the things. I don't recommend it at all. I would rather use like normal fans over like a devourer Scythe or anything. But yeah, that's really all I recommend for clans, teammates, and weapons and stuff. Uh, gear, pretty much just go with the best gear here. As you see on the left, this, this is the, po the, the possible best gear. Besides my hat, I don't know why I don't have my, um, my new hat on. But this is the gear that I do have on as well as the bamboo hat so that is what i wear when i did the mukin train you do not need this uh this is the pot the most the best gear pretty much possible the, there are some better options but this is pretty much along the lines that i use pretty much just pure damage build you use like doma if you want as you see if i go to, if i do go to like doma pants something it does give three weapon damage or if i go to the tiger warrior mask this also gives three weapon damage so you can use all the weapon damage accessories if you want but you do lose out on your other stats but it's still really good so those are gonna be the armors you can wear all right, getting into the actual raid. First, we're gonna talk about the core phase. Now, this is the first phase in the Mukin Train. Now, this phase didn't really change much, besides the fact that the core did get changed to 300 HP and the mobs did get more HP. This is why you do need at least four max players for each side of the core. You want to send four people each side of the core, one person in the middle. It's recommended the guy in the middle party like swap or something, and every single person that. Uh, size has like a good BDA like ice something but pretty much in this phase what you want to do is four people in the sides everyone pushed up to right where they spawn and pretty much just spawn kill the NPCs you can still like one combo them if you do have like any any good max like ice BDA or fans you still one combo them very easily so this phase isn't really a problem as long as you don't have someone messing up on the side and slipping up but that's what the guy in the middle is for when someone slips up uh, the guy in the middle does help them I do I'm gonna show clips on the screen now I've pretty much what you, what you want to do with one person on each side this this phase didn't really change much uh, from last time one person on each side this is doable with four people you do need four people for this 100 you're not going to be able to do it with other people if at least if people slip up a couple times you're going to lose the core only has 300 hp so it's very hard but all you gotta do is not make mistakes it's pretty easy if you have max people it's really hard if you don't have max people so you probably will f fail on this if you don't have five or four max people so this is why i really do recommend max people the core only has 200 hp and they do a lot of damage once they get to it so just pretty much you have four max people on each side none of them mess up if you do mess up the guy in the middle helps not, not really much to say about this um this part there's not really like any tips or tricks just go four people one person each side one person middle and you'll be fine for the stage as long as you guys are all maxed our next phase, we're going to talk about the cart phase. Now, this is the hardest phase in the Mukin Train, in my opinion. This one will require the most skill, in my opinion, and will. If you beat this, then I think you should be good for the rest of the train, honestly. But, pretty much, in this cart phase, one person should stay in the first train where everyone spots in, and all four people should go to the next train over. So, there should be one person in the first train, four people in the last train. You guys don't know, in the first train, only, like, only, like, one demon spawns there, barely. And I do, I end up putting videos in a clip. I was the one who stayed in the back train, pretty much. I just killed the demons that spawned there. It was very easy. And in the second, and in the second train, um, all, all my teammates sat in there. All the demons spawned in there. You're gonna lose a lot of civilians in this mode. If you do, get, if you do lose a lot of civilians, that'll be fine. Me and my team, we passed it like four times, doing it with um, like six civilians left. So you do really, you do get close a lot normally. It's not really, it's not very rare to lose a lot of civilians every time I pass it. Like five civilians, six civilians left, and pretty much the strat is one person in the first train to. To just deal with those uh, like stranded uh, demons and four people on the one. Once the de once the civilians start dying in the second train, people want to move to the first train to help the other guy because they will start, start uh, spawning more often. I'll show clips on the screen again, but pretty much you want to defend the second train for as long as possible until every single NPC dies in there. Then you will move to the first train and protect like a small amount of NPCs. Pretty much this is just a time game. You want to protect for as long as possible. They will die 100%, but it will come down to the last like couple ten of them and. That's where you just want to defend one train and ditch the second train. But pretty much, that's the strat for the first one. I do recommend a lot of ice and swamp because you need AoE for this. I do recommend spawning the camps on the second train at the end. One is around like 8, 10 civilians, 6 civilians. You do want to just camp the spawn. It's like 2 people on each side of a train, 1 person in the middle to catch the strays. Pretty much just like the core, but in a train. This part is very hard. It takes a lot of coordination. All right, next after the end after the card phase the mucus train honestly will be pretty easy for you the end move boss phase is a pretty simple you, all you do is spam attacks and move against the wall it's a very easy boss fight if you guys are max you should have no problem with this at all whatsoever we beat this pretty easily every single time this boss is just it's pretty much just a boss with a lot of hp damage is the same pretty much everything is the same besides the fact that emu has like a billion hp so all you gotta do if you have high damage uh, bdas and fans you will be fine you can just shred it pretty easily especially if you have tier 3 devourer it would be even easier 
but enemy boss phase nothing really to say very easy phase as long as you pass the card phase you'll be fine at this all right next we got the enmu flesh monster this one's also simple it's pretty much a harder version of the enemy boss fights all you want to do on this phase is just block the attacks and speed blitz it pretty much just everyone just run in and murder him before more NPC spawn because if you don't know uh enemy flesh monster does spawn a lot of npcs now so what you want to do is you want to just instantly go on the flesh monster and start destroying him that's pretty much the only strategy here there's no like special strategy just go on him destroy him stand inside the flesh monster so his slams don't hit you but his uh, like slashes you do need to block those and pretty much just spam abilities ice alt war fans m1s war drums and then you will be fine with this one again it's just a boss fight with a lot of hp damage doesn't really increase you'll be fine if you have five people uh with a lot of high damage this one's not very hard next we got emu clash i think this is honestly the hardest part of making train besides the cards did they they did make this way harder than before uh this uses way different keys before and it's almost the entire keyboard so there's not really a tip for just there's not really a tip for um and move clashing you kind of just got to be good i would find people who know that they could pass it uh, i'll show you on screen right now what it looked like when i did pass it pretty much my, my, my teammates didn't pass it but it, i mean it, it was honestly very hard so i don't blame them this is a very hard part of the mega train the cause of fight is going to be very easy honestly all you gotta do is kill the boss it's the same thing as any other boss i think these three bosses are going to be the easiest parts of the mook train there's just bosses with a lot of hp you want to get a cause against the wall and spam him with attacks just like normal just uh, he just has a lot more hp so it'll, it'll take longer there's not really any tips for these boss fights as long as you have max with good vdas you will destroy these bosses fairly easily like we did and move flesh monster the end uh, boss and they cause the boss will be all very easy so i just recommend finding good teammates who could do end clash that's going to be the most important part after you can do cart phase then you will be fine as long as you could do end clash remember i'll show you guys clips on the screen of what it looks like it is very hard and i do recommend some people wanted to practice for it i don't think you need to practice for it i don't think it's that deep honestly just be good at typing on your keyboard um it's very easy just don't mess up i'm pretty sure if you mess up I'm, I'm pretty sure it does revert time i don't actually know for sure though so uh don't don't mess up when i did it i don't i messed up like once maybe and passed it like 10 seconds it's very hard i think i'm pretty fast at typing and i did it like almost perfectly and finished at like 10 15 seconds so yeah that's gonna be the hardest part in the boss fights or hardest part of the mega train besides uh cart phase i think the mega train after the cart phase is gonna be pretty simple uh, I think the card phase is the only hard part, and that's the one where you do need five max people with good ice BDAs and good swamp to beat. That's the only part I would worry about. You do need max people for this, guys. You're not going to be able to beat it without it, unless you're like gods or something. And remember, you do need one uh, one bloody state naked, and to activate it, pretty much all you got to do is hold E at the beginning of the mega train. Uh, fairly simple, but yeah, it's not really much anything else to say. Just pretty much recommend five people, all max, 250, everything, max mastery, max level, max clan, max pretty much everything. You need max people, max weapons, uh, core phase, pretty easy. Car phase is really challenging. Uh, car, uh, not and move boss phase, pretty easy, and move flesh monster, pretty easy, and move clash, pretty difficult, and a cause fight pretty easy now if you guys are wondering what the benefits you do get from doing this you do get two x drops for every single person and this does stack with better drops and better drops i'm pretty sure better drops gives like 1.5 percent drops and then the two x drops from mega train i'm pretty sure it does stack and you will be getting 3.5 x drops pretty much and pretty much that's gonna be it for that every person gets three chests it's very hard to beat it uh i do recommend finding a very good team if you guys do need a good team you go to my discord as well uh, I do also have a Mega Train Finder in there, but the main Discord probably will be better. But yeah, that's gonna be for this video. I'm not gonna go too deep, or I'm not gonna say anymore, because honestly, there isn't really any more to say about how to do hard mode Mega Train. I hope you guys find this helpful. I hope you guys can beat hard mode Mega Train. If you guys can't, uh, honestly, it might just be a skill issue. You need to find five people with max. And I honestly, I just hope this you guys find this video helpful. But yeah, that's gonna be for this video on how to beat hard mode Mega Train, the ultimate guide. If you guys find it helpful, make sure you do like and subscribe and join my Discord down below. I'm gonna be doing giveaways and streams almost. Daily. So yeah, uh, that's me for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next one.